the geezer. The geezer has got a tiny little control panel with two buttons. The button on the left is a very simple on and off button with an off, on and a zero and a one. So the system's off. The second button is to choose between gas or electric. So that's the setting what you have. So if you want to use the system on gas, you have to of course ensure that the gas bottles are open. The system might take a while to switch on on gas if you've just opened it because there might be air in the lines. So it needs to uh, get rid of the air and uh, then it will ignite on gas. The electric is very simple. Ensure you are plugged in um, on the campsite and then electric will work. We have on purposely disconnected the electric side of the geyser from the inverter system. So as on default from Motorhome World, the electric side of the system will not work on your inverter, which means because it's very easy to forget on and then abuse and empty your batteries. So to keep that in mind. Inverters do not power geysers at Motorhome World. Right, to switch the system on is at the moment I am chosen on electric so if I switch on at the moment the light will go on which shows you there is power to the system and you won't hear anything, you won't see anything um, the electric element will start heating the water in the geyser um, it might take a while, 20, 30 minutes depending on the temperature obviously of the water inside already and then you'll have hot water I'm going to switch it off and I'll show you what happens if you switch it on gas. So you don't need to switch off the system to switch from, from gas to electric. I'm just doing it from illustration point of view. So switching it to gas, I'm switching it on. The light will start to flash, which means it's a startup sequence. And then if I'm quiet, you will start hearing the tick, tick, tick. Anytime soon. It's very faint. I don't think you're going to hear it on the video. You'll see the light is back on to a steady on, which means the system is actually ignited. And it's working on gas. If that light keeps on flashing, that means the system has not ignited. It's also possible that it will go on like this, and then a couple of seconds later, it will start flashing again. Maybe because it took an early ignition and there's still air in the system, uh, and uh, it had a whiff of gas and it ignited and it's off again. So please, if you do use the gas system, please ensure that after about a minute or two minutes, check the light again, make sure it is still steady on. If it's flashing, just switch the system off, switch it back on again. So, um, the gas is a lot more quicker to heat up the geyser. Um, it's more efficient from a heating point of view. And system off. So I'm going to switch the system on gas. I have disconnected the gas bottles, which means um, it, it, it might still ignite a little bit because of the gas left in the system, but it will try and ignite itself and uh, it shows you that the light is burning but uh, the gas system is off ah, and you see there it starts flashing which had a letter had a little bit of residual gas left but then it switched off again so if it does flash like that it's not heating yeah you got to switch the system back off again it will try three times to ignite itself um, if it doesn't ignite itself after that uh, you have to switch it off and switch back on. Obviously now, check the gas bottles. Make sure the gas bottles are open and there's gas in them. Um, another thing could be, it's possible that there's a fuse somewhere that hasn't worked. Um, although, most of the time, you, you've run out of pressure on, on, on the gas system. 